Hello Capricorn, it's Milady from Milady's Way Tarot and I'm coming to do your weekly weekend, no, sorry, I'm coming to do your weekly reading for the week of, jeez, what's going on Capricorn? So, some secrets are being told by your friends, your friends are telling everything, friends, family, people that you clo close to, allies, you telling them stuff and they telling everybody. All right, what's going on? Okay, Capricorn, Milady, Ladies Way Tarot, um, Thank you for like, sharing, subscribing. If you want a person reading, link below. Um, geez, you guys just got me all twisted with that. Uh, make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising signs. And thank everybody for everything. Let's get this show on the road, Capricorn, because you want to speak. All right, what's going on for Capricorn? What's going on for Capricorn? Capricorn, Capricorn, 8, 8, 7 through 13, 2017. What's going on for the Capricorn? 8. All right, so somebody moved away or somebody has been mm. Let me pull one more So I'm feeling like Somebody has been moving away Because of some secrets. So somebody got some secrets. And. It's like they moved away emotionally. Or something like. They just start distancing themselves. Because of their secrets. Okay. Okay. So I feel like they actually let go of somebody. That they were seeing. Not seeing. Seeing. Not seeing. Seeing. Not seeing. And then they usually come see. But they never came back. Mm. So. We gonna figure out what that is. What's going on with the Capricorn? 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 What's going on with the Capricorn for the week of August seventh through thirteenth, two thousand seventeen? What's going on with the Capricorn? 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 Love reading. Mm. All right. So. Uh, Something is taking this sweet time. All right. That one wants to come out. Okay, so it seems like whatever the situation is, you've been dealing with it for a long time. Like, uh, at least a year or two. Whatever the situation is. Um. So, I feel like maybe somebody was giving you gifts or some something. Or you waiting for somebody that's been giving you gifts and you've been waiting for a long time. Mm. I'm starting to feel like this has this is like some some sad line stuff. I feel like you somebody has been waiting for somebody to leave a situation for a long time. And I feel like the only connection they have is they've been giving them gifts and stuff to stick around. Mm. Yep. There it is. Uh so they could be your third party or you're their third party. Or maybe they just got some other third party. But the third party has been waiting for somebody to... But I'm sorry, Capricorn. I feel like you might be the third party that's waiting for your partner to come back to you because of some kind of gifts. I mean, it could be uh, materialistic, physical, or mental. Some kind of gift that you enjoy from this person. You're waiting for it. You've been waiting for a long time. Mm. Ooh. Okay. So this person. Uh, okay. The person could be fertile. The person could be pregnant by you. Or you don't know if the baby is yours or somebody else's. But I still feel like you are the third party. That's been waiting. You probably are pregnant by somebody. Or you have have somebody pregnant but you I feel like an uncertainty with who it is or if it's even there I, it, it may even be a scare looking at her her eyes or maybe a threat you know all right Capricorn all right what's going on here last two so I'm feeling like this person may be above you in some way 
or maybe more socially accepted in whatever way, maybe just in their area of the world or the city, state, whatever. But um, I think this may be some kind of long distance relationship. Okay, but this secret is getting ready to come out about if this child is reared, real or yours. It's about to happen. All right, so somebody is about to come out of their head about stalking. So somebody might have been stalking you. You've been stalking somebody. And somebody just like, I'm done with it. You know, I'm not about to be stressing over this person no more. You know, I'm not about to let this person hold me back or ruin my life. Yeah, so they're thinking about an ex. So I think in some cases, some of you actually move forward from this, but y'all still got this baby connection or this possible baby or this baby threat connection. All right. What's going on with the Capricorn? Capricorn, Capricorn for the week of 8, 7, through 13, 2017, August 7th through 13, 2017. Capricorn. I don't know if I, I know I didn't say this earlier. Maybe I did. Okay. So read these straight out the book to ensure you get your full message. Mm. Okay, so it seemed like you're gonna get what you want after uh after this. And it seemed like just for me looking at this, let me see. Ooh, of course you're gonna lose a lover out of this. I mean, this is some kind of freaking shakeup, but it's like this is like a whole bunch of choices, good choices hidden behind bad choices. This one is some kind of celebration. It's not like at the highest extent, but this is some recovering from something that happened. So I feel like going back to the X card, maybe you are going to like try to reclaim a relationship with your ex, but the love is already lost there. But I don't know. I see that they may actually try to work it, but there's no, there's no love there anymore at least at this time okay so we got the seven of cups so the seven of cups is upright it says be very careful in making mistakes a very no a good choice is hidden by many other bad choices do not fool yourself with unreal dreams take the best and most solid choice so it's basically like uh eh, do you want to stay with your ex or are you going to Go with this person who has been having you on a sideline for, seems like, years. All right. And then we have the three of cups reverse. Three, 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 three. Three, three. All right. So, it's reverse. So, um, movement for a final completion. Obstacles have been cleared away for quicker movement. So, it's basically like... After this is revealed, then you can make your choice about what you're going to do. But don't make your choice before that's revealed. That's what I'm feeling like that's saying. All right, because you don't want to bring all this baggage back to your ex because they're going to put that foot up and your ass is going to be on, side, on the outside of the door. All right, so we got the four swords, four, four, four. All right, four swords says can indicate lack of sleep can show the need for time away from negative situations, possible illness, a card of indecision, doubt, constant worrying, restless sleep, and loneliness. Yeah, in the second, I feel like you're going to uh, be able to come over this, to see what's wrong, to, it's going to be over. Basically, you're going to realize if this baby is yours. Or if there is a baby. Alright, so we got the lovers reversed. Uh, the end of a romance will hurt feelings. Okay, we knew that was going to happen. Yeah, but it's basically like... Um, it seems like you're going to get your heart broke no matter what. I mean... Your heart going to be broke, but you're going to have something to celebrate about is what I'm feeling. Like, because you might be able to... Uh, I mean, it's like... You have a baby, but you're going to be happy about it. You're not happy about the situation. But it's like, if you have the baby, you don't have your ex. If you have your ex, you don't have your baby. So it's seeming like you're not going to get this person no matter what. Because 
They're going to come to you and then they're going to do it to you or your mind going to start taking off like, dang, if they cheated on them, they'll cheat on me. So it's all that kind of crap. But that's all I have for you guys because I can talk about this forever. But make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising signs. If you want a person reading, check in the description box below. Other than that, have a great week.